everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today, uh, this series of video, uh, I'm gonna talk about the open pose and the 3D reconstruction. So, uh, the agenda for this uh, series of uh, video or YouTube videos, uh, I'm gonna divide uh, the whole concept or the whole presentation into five series. So first one is open pose setup, uh, second one camera calibration, and next one 3D reconstruction. And after that, I'm gonna show you how to do kinematic simulation and kinetic simulation. And for this first video, I'm gonna talk about the open pose setup. So open pose setup, uh, I'm gonna show you uh, step by step uh, how to set up the open pose and how to run the open pose. Uh, so for uh, this tutorial, uh, I'm gonna just download the portable demo and uh, install the model and the field requirement uh, for the uh, portable demo with OpenPose and uh, I'm gonna demonstrate how to run the OpenPose in the client line. So first of all, let's uh, go to the web page of OpenPose to download the portable demo. So just simply uh, go to the web browser and you just need to type open pose uh, release and you will find a website uh, which shows all the histories of the open pose and uh, you just uh, simply uh, go to the uh, the latest version uh, which is currently bound 0.7.0 and it depends on your spec of the laptop if your laptop has gpu you just download the GPU version and if you don't have GPU and the only CPU you just need to download the CPU version so after you download it uh, you just need to open it up and uh, you will get something like you'll get something like this and there is a instruction text file uh, right here like this uh, opening up and uh, there are some instructions uh, you can just read through and uh, the most important uh, instruction is the first one right here so double click the, the batch file to download the required body face in hand models so simply you just need to uh, go back to the path you downloaded the uh, open pose and you go to model folder and there is a batch file here get base models so you just need to double click on this batch file and just uh, run the batch file uh, then it will automatically uh, download the models you need after that technically you can run the open pose uh, however uh, if you don't have uh, visual studio uh, on your machine uh, you will probably get the, the error uh, to solve that Program you have to download this this C plus uh, redistribution uh, package. So you just need to go to the, the website of the Microsoft, and uh, you just need to download uh, the package according to your laptop. And uh, yeah, that's the requirements. And uh, maybe you need to download the Python, but as far as I understand, you don't really have to download Python. But uh, if you get another error, uh, there are a bunch of uh, uh, solutions uh, on the on the web uh, website. Uh, so you just need to go there and solve your problems. But most of the problems will be solved by downloading uh, this uh, redistribution package. And after that. What I usually have is, okay, go back to the path uh, where I downloaded the open post. And I usually have just the, the input arguments. I mean, you just need to go to the, the website of the open post and see the, all the arguments you can put. But uh, for me, uh, most important things is uh, getting the data, I mean, the human pose estimation data. And uh, sometimes just like visualize it, uh, so I just I don't need all the arguments uh, 
to be remembered in my brain. Uh, so I just need to copy and paste of uh, this one, uh, for example, to just to get the data. And uh, you just need to simply go to the command line uh, from this pass. Just need to type cmd, and uh, you just need to copy and paste uh, the the argument uh, from the notepad or text file. So the first argument I'm gonna explain is uh, dash dash uh, video. So you just need to uh, go to the video file you want to have a pause estimation. So for the demonstration purpose, I created uh, the I imported the video from my other studies. Uh, for example, here hopefully I can show you the, the, the videos. So basically, basic setup is uh, having 12 cameras, uh, three, almost 360 degrees around and uh, capturing me doing a squat so hopefully i can show you the video okay so it looks like this so just this is just one view and me doing the squat like this uh it's a contemporary camera uh 100 uh, frame per second and that this is i think uh, 100 what's the resolution so like a 2048 times 15 sorry 6 uh, that's the resolution and we have 12 different angles yeah so oh okay I just closed it but like I just need to have a pass uh, you can just copy and paste and I think bit one dot it's the ABI uh, video so just put ABI and uh, the second argument here is dash dash uh, right underscore JSON uh, so you just need to specify the, the path or directory uh, you want to store the JSON file so I have already done this so I have like a JSON data already here but if you want to save your json files in this folder you just need to copy and paste of this directory and uh, just paste it right here uh, here like this the next argument is uh dash dash uh, display and i just put zero which is no uh which means uh OpenPose doesn't show any display while running uh, the pose estimation. So it can save the, the processing time a lot. So if you don't need to uh, visualize uh, what's processing uh, at the current moment, I just I highly recommend uh, put this dash dash display uh, zero here. Otherwise, the open poses will display uh, what's currently going on in the human pose estimation. And after that, uh, here, uh, dash dash render underscore uh, pose zero. Uh, if you want to have a video with a skeleton overlay, uh, it's, it's good to have, uh, to be honest, because you can double check uh what was detected after uh after the processing right but uh i mean if if i have the videos and the json data i can overlay by myself uh so i just put zero and which saves uh a lot of processing time as well and after that i put dash dash net underscore resolution uh, negative one times uh, 320 so what usually happens uh, when you process with high resolution uh, videos uh, it will probably get uh, it depends on your uh, spec I mean like a laptop spec but sometimes you will get a memory crash or auto memory error 
uh, in the case uh, you have to decrease the resolution uh, for uh, running the open pose so I just set negative 1 ti uh, times uh, 320 but if you still get the out of memory error you have to consider uh, decreasing the resolution like 160 or so so you, you can play around the, the last digit last three digit number right here uh, to match with your laptop spec basically but yeah that's uh, how you can run the, the open pose and how you can get the pose estimation data and hopefully uh, it was uh, helpful and uh, in the next video i will show you how to run the camera calibration and until then uh, see you bye